Today on The Daily Shed, we discuss the difference between talent and hard work. Hello, friends. It's Tuesday. Welcome to The Shed. Guess who threw up this morning? Yeah. I'm home with my oldest, stayed, I drove, actually drove to work today, got there and thought, what the heck am I doing? I should not be here. I'm going home. So I turned around and drove back and, you know, my oldest is still sick and, <sighs> I actually slept until 2 p.m. So that's crazy. That is extremely unlike me. <laughs> so Tuesday is um, going forward. I'm looking to do uh, like a news day. I'd like I'd really like to do some current events. So if you have any current events you want me to talk about next week, let me know. Uh, I'm gonna do a lot more research for these episodes going forward. So I need your help. Anything you can do would be awesome. But for today, I'm not doing a news story. Particularly, I am doing a. I just want to discuss the difference between talent and hard work. I have many times in my life been told that I'm talented or been told that I can do whatever I want if I try hard enough. And it seems to be that those two things are frequently confused. Now, we, I, I've known people, and I'm certain you've known people, who just seem to be able to pick up anything they try. They can, uh, you know, I've known athletes, talented athletes who could play any sport they wanted equally well just by doing it. And it's frustrating when you're struggling to do something and another person just comes along and is like, oh, I, I just do that. And But ultimately, at, at the end, the end goal, whether it, if it's sports, it, maybe it's playing on a sports team, the end goal is it doesn't matter how you got there talent or hard work. It just matters that you're there, right? That you made it. And so those two things often get confused. And talent is, you know, an innate ability that some of us might have. But really, I, I'm not so sure it's true. There are people who are more dexterous than others, and maybe they're really good at drawing. My daughter's an amazing drawer. Uh, a very talented drawer. But she also draws every night. And so, is it talent or hard work? It's a little bit of both, honestly. If you're pursuing something that you're just not physiologically capable of, then it's going to take a heck of a lot of hard work. Whereas if you're pursuing something that is more in line with your skill set, that hard work might not seem hard. And that's the thing. <clears throat> I have this large catalog of skills. And it's not that I'm talented at any of them. It's that I gave myself over to them for a certain period of time so that I could learn them. And that was hard work. That was me giving 100% of myself to that thing to figure it out. But what you don't see is the fact that I really enjoy doing that. So is it hard work? Yes, but it's also when it's something that you enjoy doing, then the hard work is kind of the wrong term for it. That's more of a term for people, you know, from the outside looking in. Oh, that's a lot of hard work. Yes, it is. Um, but from the inside looking out, no, I'm, I'm having a blast doing this. I'm having a blast. My daughter has a blast drawing every night. Has she always been, you know, good? No. When, when she was a little kid, you know, when she was two or three, and it wasn't like she was drawing Mona Lisa. No. She drew like everybody else at that age. But it's one of those things that she's continued to do. She's 11 now, and she's really good at it. So it's been 
eight years of hard work for her, but she really enjoys it. So it's not hard work at all. It's just drive mixed with a little dose of talent. I would say that there are very few people on this planet who could pick up a new skill and immediately become proficient in it without trying. Assuming that that skill has some sort of barrier to entry. I'm not not folding paper airplanes or something. We could all do that. I'm not saying that people who fold amazing paper airplanes aren't really good at folding paper airplanes. I'm just saying it's not really a something that you have to put a lifetime of effort into. So anyway, the discussion today is between talent and hard work. I would love to hear what you have to say. I'm really curious as to what other people's take on it are because I have worked very hard to be comfortable in front of this camera. That is work. It's not a talent. I can't turn the camera on and be like, you know, you know how it is. When you when people bring up the camera, you tend to morph yourself into something that's a little more cool than you think you are normally. And learning how to control that, um, that's hard work. It's, it's, you know, it is what it is. And when we talk about on-screen talent, we talk about actors who are the on-screen talent. That's what they're called. Really? Or did they really work hard at being who they are? I bet you it's the latter for the most part. So let me know what you think between the difference between talent and hard work in the comments. I'm really curious. Uh, don't forget this Friday, I need some questions, advice questions this week. So ask me advice things, relationships, marriage, uh, homeowner, car buying, whatever it might be, ask me advice questions for Friday, and that will be the content of Friday's episode. I'm going to go back and lay down because my head is pounding right now. Thank you for joining me. Thank you for sticking through it. Please give me that thumbs up. Don't forget to comment. Don't forget to share. And if you're new, don't forget to subscribe. Oh, and I just got the email saying that we are on Google Play's podcast now, so you should be able to search for me on Google Play Podcast. I don't know how that works, but I'm on there. So, thank you for stopping by. I'll catch you guys tomorrow. Hey, Doc, wait! I want to ask you something. Today's random fact comes from History.com. What was Uncle Sam's real name? On this day in 1813, the United States gets its nickname Uncle Sam. The name is linked to Samuel Wilson, a meat packer from Troy, New York, who supplied barrels of beef to the United States Army during the War of 1812. I'm going to have to click on this because that is not what I was taught in the military. Uh, stamp the barrels. Wilson stamped the barrels with U.S. This is the way I heard it. Uh, for United States, but soldiers began referring to the grub as Uncle Sam's. The local newspaper picked up on the story, and Uncle Sam eventually gained widespread acceptance as the nickname for the U.S. federal government. I've always heard the barrel stamping, and I'm curious now, did Sam Wilson look like the dude in the, like, I want you? That'd be cool. I'd like to leave that legacy. I need to, I need to get my, I need to get some Chevy products out there so that somebody makes a poster out of me. <laughs>